Resort and Casino, we like to celebrate life's little moments. Oh, and the big ones too. Because around here, when you're completely in the moment, that's when the magic happens. Come in and find your moment at Wind River Resort and Casino. All right, so can you hear me? My goodness. <sighs> can you hear me now? Uh, everybody, can you, I, I think the microphone is on now. Does it sound okay? Does it sound funky? Oh, this is so frustrating, folks. I, I, man, I tell you, I try so hard to, to look good, do things well, and this stupid stuff happens, but all right. You know what? Let's let's get over it and move on. I take the microphone off so I can charge the battery before I go on, and then I sometimes forget, as I did this morning, to put my microphone back on. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? All right. So, as I was staying, and as I sounded like a complete doofus because you couldn't even hear me, but now we're back and we're back to normal. Um, so I was saying, many of you in the eastern mountains last night were dealing with some showers or some snow flurries off in some of the higher elevations as well. You know, but before we get to the forecast, I thought it would be kind of fun, and I want to try to start doing more things. And we're going to start off with something very basic, something very simple, but just, you know, what's going on around the community. And not just, and I'm going to start with Visit Reading, and I know that there are many other areas of you that are watching, and I would love for you to... Uh, but no comments coming up. Well, let's see if... Okay, no, that should all be working. Um, so it shows that it's streaming. But I'm getting the comments, so I guess, you know, everything's kind of coming in just fine. But anyway, that being said, I, know I thought I'd take a look at, you know, what's going on around the area. And here's in Reading. And again, I want this to grow. I want there to be a better community calendar for us to kind of share with each other. Uh, and get more information about what's going on. But for tomorrow, there is the Wine Down Wednesdays at Branch House. Uh, so that's at 5 p.m. And of course, you've got the Overtime Live Comedy Night. And of course, that's at Wind River Resort and Casino. Of course, our sponsor there. And there, you can, of course, you can see at the Cascade Theater, the Lightning Thief. So there's some things going on there. Uh, looks like we do have some more out at Cicada Catina, Cantina. Uh, there you can see Overtime Karaoke, also at Wind River Resort and Casino. So a lot of fun things going on there. There, of course, you can see the Lantern Festival. This is something that's new out of Turtle Bay. They're doing this glowing wild thing. It's pretty neat. I haven't had a chance to really see it, but uh, it looks like it's a, a lot of fun uh, and should be kind of a fun event here. So uh, just, to, you know, again, I wanted to start with maybe just a couple events for everybody, see what's going on out there. Um, you know, I, I, I'm going to try to get more resources and we're going to try to, you know, get started with uh, some, some positive notes. This is something that's not so positive, but, um, well, no, you know, I got rid of it. So we're not going to worry about that. It, you know, it's, it's, it's news. It's, it's, it's sad news. And, and I just don't want to do that. You know, if you want to get your sad news and your news somewhere, you're going to find it wherever you want to. I'm here about spreading positive messages. 
Um, and unless it's something that's here local that I think can impact everyone, um, what do I do to get my event there? All right. So, um, you know, what we can do here is we can start with, you know, you can instant message me on Facebook. Um, you can also email me at M Kruger, that's M K R U E G E R, um, M Kruger at weathernorcal.com. Um, you can also go to the website, and from the website, you can go to contact and you can leave an uh, a, a email message there as well. I get those. Uh, so there's, there's different ways that you can do that. And so if you have an event going on, let me know. Um, because, and of course, as you know, we got stuff, you know. As, as we start getting closer to the weekend, people start getting more and more events. So it certainly is kind of neat, I think, for everyone to kind of share. If you know something going on in your area, if you live in Alturas or if you live in Redding or Chico or Weaverville or on the coast, let us know what's going on because a lot of great events uh, in all of Northern California. And I think this is a great way to maybe share some of that, especially kind of start things off in the morning uh, and, and get you going. But in the meantime, let's do this. Let's get you to... The radar because there is some rain out there in some areas here and there, there was last night and of course i mentioned that early on here but it did kind of move through and this was pretty much expected uh it, it moved through eastern siskiyou modoc the mountains just east of the valley so eastern shasta tehama and butte counties you saw some of that activity last night and really for the most part things are gone now but just an hour ago a couple hours ago there was some activity out there even out towards uh uh, looks like it moved over parts of Lassen County and not to mention Plumas County as well. So it looks like near Susanville, Quincy, Portola. Also a lot of, a little bit of that activity. Now it's all pretty much gone at this point. Take a look at this. I want to thank uh, Shelly from Weaverville sending in this image. Uh, this is a great shot out in Weaverville. This was actually from yesterday morning at about this time. Uh, maybe a little bit later than that because of course it's a little bit of daylight out there. But looks a little crisp out there in the morning as you typically do see in those higher elevations. But thank you, Shelly, for sending in that image. Let's take a look at the weather headlines. You know, the rain will return on Wednesday. And I'm expecting for us to see the possibility of some thunderstorms, but also gusty winds and heavy rain at times. And with those thunderstorms, there's going to be the potential for more of those accumulating hail storms as well. It will be the exact same locations that we've seen. Probably not, right? But some areas could see that. But I do expect after tomorrow, often on showers through a good portion of the weekend, not all of it, because snow levels will be between three and four and 5,000 feet on average. It will get locally lower than that in some cases here, but for the most part, uh, on average between four and 5,000 feet. Now, I've been talking about, even since last week, the potential for some rain or light showers on Easter Sunday. Now it looks like the models are beginning to trend for a drier solution on Easter Sunday. I'm still not entirely taking it out of the forecast just yet. I still want you to be aware that it, there still is that slight chance. But as we get closer to Sunday, I'm beginning to see the long range forecast models trend drier for Easter Sunday. Now that's obviously good news if you have an Easter egg hunt. Let's take a look at some of those live cameras out there. This is out of Crescent Hit City at uh, Harbor District. Some clouds out there, but of course no rain. It uh, looks like just a beautiful shot out there. Again, we're seeing some of the clouds out there. We've got kind of the thin layer of clouds uh, in the valley. So you can kind of see the moon there kind of also uh, off in the uh, kind of the, that reflection in the water there. Uh, and of course, there is a different perspective from Lake Oroville North Four Bay, but you can see the clouds that we do have overhead there as well. So we're seeing those clouds out there this morning. Main Street Chico on Highway 32. Looks like uh, not much in the way of traffic at this point. But it is flowing smoothly there on Highway 99 and at Neal Road, that is. And uh, can't really see too clearly here, but it looks like there are some clouds. Kind of feels a little gray and overcast out there. Um, and there you can see some of the clouds even off in the distance there uh, at Highway 44 and Sundial Bridge, uh, at the Sundial Bridge Drive exit there on Highway 44. You can see some of the clouds off in the distance there. and looks like traffic is flowing smoothly as well in that area. Right now we're looking at 43 degrees in Redding, 47 degrees for Rebla, 50 out in Chico. We've got 36 in Susanville, 32 degrees in Alturas. And it looks like we've got 40 degrees out in Eureka. 
All right, let's take a look at your neighborhood at a glance, just real quickly to kind of get you out the door to see what's going on in your area or where you may be going here in Northern California. Temperatures mid 60s in the valley for Trinity County around 60. Notice not a drop of rain coming from any of those clouds here for today. It will be a dry day across the board. All right, I'm going to try something new here, and we're going to be kind of doing a little fly through here of uh, some daily planners here for different neighborhoods here in. Uh, in Northern California. There, of course, the valley. There you can see temperatures are going to be in the mid 60s, low 60s, that is, by the noon hour, mid 60s by the afternoon. Now, it is showing sunny skies here. I'd be, I'd venture to guess that we're probably at, at the very least going to see some high clouds here throughout the day today in the valley and really for many locations. It's going to be a cool start to the day for many of us in the higher elevation. So make sure you've got that coat to start off the day but you'll probably be able to shed that coat later on in the afternoon. There's Garberville with a high of about 63 degrees later on this afternoon. We take you out to Willow Creek. There, of course, you can see the, we'll call it partly cloudy skies. Again, you're going to be looking at that sun kind of filtering through some of those clouds here throughout the day today. We take you out along the coast here, and of course, uh, we've got the overcast skies, it looks like, by the second half of the day today. But that will be in advance of the storm system as it moves in later tonight and into tomorrow. There's Scott Valley out in Etna with temperatures eventually reaching the mid 50s, but it's gonna be a cold start to the day in the mountains. As you can see, Mount Shasta City about 33 degrees at eight o'clock this morning, and then eventually reaching the low 50s later this afternoon. Take you off into Alturas and Bernie. Temperatures there this morning around the low 30s, but eventually getting up to around 50 degrees later this afternoon. We take you out to Chester and Paradise. Of course, big differences there. Paradise, lower elevation. Chester, a bit higher in elevation. So you can see not too bad. Of course, you've got that typical temperature inversion out in Paradise, which is why it's about 46 there at eight o'clock this morning. But Chester, much cooler, below freezing at 29. Upper 50s to about 60 for Paradise today and low 50s out in Chester. And we take you out to Susanville and Shingletown where temperatures there will be in the mid to upper 30s this morning and by the afternoon and the low to even possibly some mid 50s here uh, as we take you through the afternoon. All right, let's go and take a look at your visibility out there. And we have certainly seen some fog in some areas across uh, Northern California here, but uh, nothing too terrible. Uh, let me take you back in time here. I'm having a little bit of a delay with my computer. So yeah, it looks like we're seeing some patchy fog, most likely uh, in Trinity County, some of those uh, mountain valleys, maybe some of those inland valleys as well in Humboldt County. Let's take a look at future cast and show you what we can expect for today as I was talking about some of those high clouds filtering in through this afternoon. But again, mainly looking at dry conditions. Futurecast is picking up on a few showers, looks like towards Siskiyou and Modoc County this afternoon, but for the most part, it'll be dry. It's not until tomorrow morning that we'll see that first push of moisture coming in, mainly west of the valley. So Trinity County, Western Siskiyou, Del Norte and Humboldt counties seeing some showers. Nothing terribly heavy at this point, but you can see snow levels between four and 5,000 feet. The cold front pushes through around noon for the North Coast into Trinity County. This is when the gusty winds will kind of begin to pick in, kick in as well. Snow level is still between four and 5,000 feet. I'm not expecting any major travel delays due to chain requirements. You're gonna have to go above four to 5,000 feet. So in the mountains east of the valley, there may be some chain requirements there. Otherwise, Highway 299, uh, I-5 near Mount Shasta and Weed should be looking at mainly in the form of rain. So the only thing slowing you down on the roads for the most part will be the wet roads and again, mainly that snow above four or 5,000 feet east of the valley. Take a look at the wind advisory that we do have for Del Norte and most of Humboldt County. There you can see that's from 5 a.m. until noon Wednesday. So that's tomorrow when that main cold front is pushing through there. And that's why we do expect to see those gusts up to 50 miles per hour. There's also a winter storm warning for the mountains east of the valley, which includes, of course, uh, south of Bernie. And then, of course, mainly the Southern Cascades and Northern Sierra. Now we're looking at this through from 11 a.m. tomorrow through 11 a.m. Thursday. Six to 12 inches is possible above 5,000 feet with one to two feet of fresh snow on the highest elevations. Now there's also gonna be gusty winds and blowing snow, so that could create some more travel delays, but no really major impacts for tomorrow as I mentioned, but by Thursday, this is when I expect the bigger impacts to be east of I-5 on Highway 299, Highway 44 and 36. Now west of I-5, 299, mainly in the form of rain. I don't anticipate you to see any chain requirements, but we've also got to be on the lookout for mudslides and debris flows. We saw that with the last storm, 
and out of the question for us to see that with this storm. So major winter storm impacts, right, with the snow, but also with the, with the heavier rainfall that could create some problems there as well. But I-5 looks like we're not even in the limited storm impact there, but on Highway 89, yeah, say around uh, Snowman Summit, you could run into a few issues there. Uh, with chain requirements. Here's what it looks like today for Trinity County. Temperatures in the low 60s. There you can see the off and on chance for rain for Wednesday through. I'm keeping the chance on Sunday, but there's a very good chance that by the next uh, day or two, I may be just advertising dry conditions for your Easter Sunday. There you can see temperatures in the low 50s for Southern Trinity County, the North Coast to the South in Southern Humboldt County, 61 for Garberville. 57 for a high today in Honeydew. There's Ferndale with a high of 57, as well as Fortuna in Hydesville, Rio Dell, a high of about 56 degrees. We take you up north with Arcata, about 56, 58 degrees out in Blue Lake, 62 degrees in Hoopa, and 63 in Willow Creek. All right, let's take a look at that north coast forecast up towards Smith River, 58 degrees there, 52 out in Gasky, and there's Orleans with about 63 degrees. And your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, there you can see Syed Valley, about 58. 63 degrees for Horse Creek, and it looks like Gazelle about 58. And for Scott Valley, about 54 for, for Fort Jones. Etna about 56 degrees, and there you can see Callahan about 56 degrees as well. Now out towards central and eastern Siskiyou County. Eastern Siskiyou County around 50. Central around the I-5 corridor there in the mid to even some upper 50s, around 58 for Dunsmere, 55 for McLeod. And for Modoc County, we've got temperatures mainly in the low 50s. One of the cooler spots will be Cedarville at 48 and 49 degrees for Aiden. And for your Eastern Mountains neighborhood forecast, 51 degrees for Fall River Mills, 59 in Paynes Creek, and 47 degrees in Old Station. For Lake Almanor and Lassen Park, there you can see, of course, the chance for rain starting as early as tomorrow, although snow levels fairly low. I think, Chester, you could see some snowflakes, and not to mention uh, uh, the uh, Lassen Volcanic National Park as well. Eastern Mountains neighborhood forecast to the south. There you can see, of course, 59 degrees for Paradise, 51 in Greenville. And there's your Valley neighborhood forecast to the south. 66 for Orland, as well as Chico. 67 degrees for Durham. We take you up north with 61 in Whiskey Town, 60 in Lakehead. And there you can see 66 degrees for Anderson. Let's take a look at that seven-day outlook for Redding. There's the rain. It could be heavy at times. Maybe even some thunderstorms. I think the best chances for thunderstorms in the valley will be Wednesday night and then once again on Thursday. And then on Friday, more rain, more showers on Saturday. And as I mentioned, slight chance for showers for the dancing Easter Bunny on Sunday. Otherwise, I do expect most likely and there's a very good chance I'll be taking this chance out on Sunday. But for now, I just want you to know that some of the long-range forecast models are still showing that potential for those showers in the forecast. So there you have it. Of course, uh, my audio is back. Everyone can hear me. Uh, of course, at the very top of the show, that was not the case. So let's see what everybody's up to. Yes, uh, we saw that there was no audio. Um, all right, so we did get the sound back. That is awesome. Um, someone saying there, yeah, uh, morning, Mike, get more coffee. Can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of coffee. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I, I drank my co coffee too quickly. I don't know. But yeah, I'm out of coffee right now. All I have is water. I should probably drink that though, right? Uh, let's see here. So yeah, Lisa, all you have to do is just, you know, you can go to the website and you can uh, put your community calendar events there. I want to start try to start getting some more uh, type of information, especially to start off the show to maybe you know help get you through the day. And if there's any kind of cool events going in your area, you can find out about that. Did anyone catch the Northern Lights last night? Well, I don't think we were able to catch them here in Northern California. You have to go pretty far north. I know that there was that big uh, solar flare uh, creating problems with communications, but not necessarily giving us uh, any kind of light show uh, with the northern lights. As far as I know, um, I did kind of check and uh, from the NASA website, and it was not indicating that we would see that here. Um, hmm. I don't know why you're not seeing any comments. That's interesting. I'm going to check. Um, I'm going to check my Facebook feed and see if the comments are coming in. Um, interesting how you're not getting any comments. Hmm. Let's see here. No, the comments are coming in. So I'm not sure what's going on and why you wouldn't be getting comments, especially if you're used to seeing them and getting them, but they're coming in. So yeah, I'm not sure. Um, 
can't see the comment thread. That's interesting. I wonder what's happening. I wonder why some of you aren't seeing the comment thread. Is there, is, I wonder if there's a way you can turn it off. Let me see if there's something that's like a setting that uh, allows you to kind of see here. Do, 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 copy link. No, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be seeing them. Because again, I, I'm seeing here that we've got plenty of comments coming on in. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the answer to that is. Um, I wish I had an answer for you. But I'm kind of reading through the comments anyway, right? So I guess that helps. I don't have to really worry too much about that. All right, tell you what, let's, um, let's get to the forecast here. Um, but of course, before we do that, we've got to mention our sponsor, which is of course, Wind River Resort and Casino. Uh, at Wind River Resort and Casino, enjoy friendly service, a wide variety of specials and promotions, plus all of your favorite slots and table games. Of course, made possible by Wind River Resort and Casino. All right, let's advance you to the radar now. And of course, this is what I was talking about, some of the showers that we did see late last night and early this morning. You can see them all moving down to the south and east, and now things have pretty much dried out. Now that this is all gone, we can pretty much say it's going to be a dry morning. It's going to be dry this afternoon. But the rain returns for everyone by tomorrow with gusty winds and the possibility for some thunderstorms. You know, and with these thunderstorms, again, that potential for accumulating hail, creating some travel hazards, especially if you get caught under one of those accumulating hail storms. Off and on showers will continue through the weekend with snow levels between four and 5,000 feet. Models are trending towards a drier Easter Sunday. I think people are pretty happy with that, although I know some of the comments from some of you about that. You know, when you live in this area, it's, it's not too uncommon for us to see wet Easter Sundays. So you just kind of like go, hey, you know what? All right, bonus. It's not going to be wet. So there's a very good chance we could be looking at dry conditions for your Easter Sunday. But again, I'm keeping it in there for now. We'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. 43 degrees for Redding, 50 out in Chico, 32 degrees for Alturas, and there's Susanville at about 36 degrees and 40 right now in Eureka. All right, so there's a look at the showers moving down to the south and east. But we still have a lot of clouds coming in from the north and west. So I don't anticipate us to see a ton of sunshine, but there will be some sun kind of filtered through those clouds throughout the day today. But there are those high clouds kind of coming on in. Once again, I do expect dry conditions for today, but by tomorrow morning, there's that first batch of rain. Now, the main cold front's still up for a west tomorrow morning, but I do anticipate that Trinity County, Western Siskiyou, Del Norton, Humboldt counties will at least start with some light showers. Everyone else by 6 a.m. should be dry, including the valley eastward into Modoc and the eastern mountains. Then the cold front starts to push closer this is when the winds really start to pick up. So through the morning hours, I expect the strongest winds to be around here where the cold front is. And of course, around that cold front could be looking at some thunderstorms uh, for parts of the North Coast, but still looking at not a lot of rain at this point, even at the noon hour for the valley. Now we take you into the afternoon and that cold front does begin to kind of push through later on in the day. This is when the winds pick up for the valley on Wednesday, by the way, late afternoon, early evening, snow levels still between four and 5,000 feet. So there probably will be some chain requirements over the higher mountain passes east of I-5, but I-5 north into Mount Shasta, Weed, I think it'll be just in the form of rain and Highway 89, it looks like uh, we'll be looking at um, maybe some chain requirements there out towards uh, Snowman Summit. All right, so there you can see, of course, we do have some of that rain, some of those thunderstorms here uh, that could be the case here out towards Trinity County. Now, let's take you into your Wednesday night. Note it's still some thunderstorms, but also some thunderstorms developing here out along the coast, and we've got some heavy snow off in the eastern mountains. This is when snow levels will start to drop, but as we do go into early Thursday morning, we've got some snow in the higher elevations. This will create some problems here when we are talking about um, some of those chain requirements. There are those thunderstorms for the coast, and then I do expect as we go into the noon and afternoon hour, we'll be looking at those thunderstorms popping up for the valley, and not to mention the surrounding foothills and mountains. This is, of course, Thursday afternoon, the potential for that accumulating hail. So just be aware of that. If it starts hailing very rapidly, it can ver the conditions on the road can also change very rapidly. So if you get caught in a, a very heavy hail storm, slow down and pull over uh, because you just don't want to get caught in that. And it's, it's just an unsafe situation here. And that's what everyone should do. And hopefully everyone does because, you know, we don't want people spinning out or anything like that. But that's something we need to be on the lookout for as we go into your Thursday. So rainfall totals, yeah, I mean, we're talking about 
pretty decent totals out towards North Reading, uh, towards Chico as well, about half an inch. Uh, through Thursday afternoon, not as much as we head into the central parts of the valley, but we are expecting to see a lot more rainfall off towards the north coast. So the wind advisory is in effect from 5 a.m. until noon tomorrow. That's when the cold front will be moving through and when we expect some of the highest winds in that area, right? And then as we take a look at those winds, you can see here that, that those winds will eventually make their way to the valley. Now, no advisories for the valley just yet, but that'll probably change here as we go through the day today, because there you can see Wednesday morning, there's the strongest winds, there's the main cold front. But we're also seeing very gusty winds in your typical spot here in central Siskiyou County in Shasta Valley along the I-5 corridor. So that could create some uh, dangerous conditions, especially for high profile vehicles on Wednesday. Then that cold front pushes eastward. Now the winds are in the valley. I'm expecting gusts upwards of around 30, maybe even 40 miles per hour for the valley. And then of course, some gusty winds there. But notice the winds, they're dying down behind that cold front for the coast Wednesday afternoon. Then we go into Thursday and I still expect some gusty winds, just not as strong. So it'll still be a bit on the windy side for many of us uh, for your Thursday. The winter weather, uh, excuse me, the winter storm warning for the areas in pink here from 11 a.m. Wednesday until 11 a.m. on Thursday. Now this is for mainly elevations above 5,000 feet where we could see six to 12 inches there. One to two feet of snow is possible over some of the highest mountain peaks in the area with those gusty winds and blowing snow. And that'll probably create even worse conditions when it comes to travel over those higher mountain passes. There's a look at the forecast storm totals. If we can get that snow elevation down to Mount Shasta City, you could pick up a couple of inches of snow and maybe even more than that. But again, you're at that borderline, that rain snow mix. So it may be hard for us to pick up some of that snow around Mount Shasta. Most likely less than an inch. Again, Bernie, borderline, uh, not to mention uh, Fall River Mills and Shingletown, kind of that borderline rain-snow mix. But I do anticipate to see mainly in the form of snow out towards El Turris, but we're just not going to see a lot of snow in general. And then probably, I expect maybe even closer to maybe two to four inches out towards Chester if we can get uh, enough snow at that lower elevation there at about 4,500 feet. But there is Wednesday, Thursday system. Behind it is Friday storm system. And that's what's eventually kind of what's this parade of storms, if you will, that are heading our way later on this week. So, Here's Wednesday storm system, the main area of low pressure. There's the cold front passing through on Wednesday. This low pressure system will continue to bring us showers on Thursday, destabilize the atmosphere and give us thunderstorms. And then on Friday, another area of low pressure, way off to our west, will eventually develop here. That flow around that low will give us more rain on Friday. This shifts to the south on Saturday. The flow will still keep us within that chance for rain throughout the day on Saturday. But look at Sunday. We're going to take you to the area of low pressure. We're losing that flow around that area of low pressure. Now we're more of a northerly flow of winds, and this will help to prevent that rain from moving in on Easter Sunday. However, if we were looking at the European forecast model, which is different from this, it is still showing that slight chance for showers on Sunday. So I'm still keeping the chance in there until I see 100% agreement for both models. I'm gonna keep that in there. But then as we go into Monday, it looks like high pressure is starting to settle in and be looking at warmer and drier conditions for your Monday. So long range through Monday, we could pick upwards over an inch for parts of the valley, in particular around Redding and Chico, probably closer to a half an inch to three quarters of an inch for Red Bluff and Willows. And of course, one to even over two inches of rain possible for parts of the North Coast. And that water equivalency, probably not as much off to the north and to the east. And also looking at this, the above normal rainfall mainly down to our south, we're transitioning to what looks like a, a drier trend as we go into the first week of April, and not to mention a slightly warmer trend. We're still within that kind of normal category, but it looks like some of this warmer air is trying to move on in, and we're seeing less and less of that cooler air. Now, looking at the wave heights, there, of course, you can see they're going to start getting higher as we take you through the day uh, on Wednesday. And that's the reason why there is a um, small craft, not small craft advisory, actually a gale warning uh, for tonight into tomorrow. But today, uh, those winds are going to be on the southeast at about five knots. And of course, there you can see your sunrise and your sunset.
So here's what it looks like today, kind of the footprint of those temperatures, mid 60s for most of us in the valley. And then of course we take a look at that, uh, let's, uh, that went through a little fast here. Sometimes the button uh, doesn't react as, as, as much as I'd like. But there you can see 60 degrees for Weaverville, temperatures in the mid 50s for the higher elevations. There you can see out towards Hoopa, 62, 63 in Willow Creek and upper 50s out along the coast. All right, take a look at your neighborhood by neighborhood region seven day outlook. This of course is for the valley. So what I'm expecting tomorrow is often on rain. We could see some thunderstorms, especially Wednesday night and through the day on Thursday as well. Then more rain on Friday, scattered showers on Saturday. And at this point, I'm still keeping that chance for showers for your Easter Sunday. Now looking at the coast, we could see thunderstorms even on Wednesday and Thursday. And then the chances are gonna be better for thunderstorms inland by Thursday. And for Weaverville, snow levels between four and 5,000 feet often on chances through at least the first part of the weekend. Now we look at Mount Shasta, of course for Siskiyou, Modoc, and not to mention the Eastern Mountains, also looking at those snow levels on average between four and 5,000 feet. And then that'll continue through at least the first half of the weekend. And as mentioned, I'm gonna keep that chance for showers in the forecast here for Sunday, but uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, I would I would still can I would still um, keep those plans for your Easter Sunday uh, in the morning if you get a sunrise service. I think it should be okay, but I'm going to keep a close eye on it for you because that may change and that could of course you know maybe damper some plans for you if you do if you do have outdoor plans on Easter Sunday here. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, comments are good for, yeah. So it, I guess it just depends. Maybe there's some kind of setting that you have that you can't see here. Um, all right, excellent, excellent. Well, folks, we're gonna kind of keep it short here today because um, I got some stuff going on today. I wanna make sure that I can uh, get everything done properly, but um, hopefully you were able to get out of the forecast what you needed out of it. Let's go ahead and leave you with a couple of cameras in the area. It is an absolutely gorgeous morning right now out in Crescent City at Harbor District. Uh, until next time, folks, we'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee with Kruger every weekday morning at 630. Until then, have yourselves a great Tuesday and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning.